with a few speeches, followed by a ribbon cutting and a photo opportunity involving some of our invited guests. And then I will ask all of that you please join us inside the new store and enjoy some cake, light food and refreshments. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to invite 4th Canadian Division Support Group Commander Colonel Mark Meisner to come forward and say a few words, sir. CFMWS team, command teams of Garrison Petawawa, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. It's imperative to come together as a community to witness important milestones. This is one of those important milestones, and it's great to see our federal, provincial, and municipal representatives, members of industry, and so many from the local community gathered to support our military at this event. I'll, be, I'll begin by acknowledging the great loss that our military, military family suffered recently in Wainwright. On behalf of everyone at Garrison Petawawa, our thoughts and prayers go out to the spouse, family, and friends of Sergeant Robert Danirovich of the Royal Canadian Dragoons and to the members injured in the incident. This is a historic day for Garrison Petawawa. In June 2014, a ceremony was held in this very location as we closed General Panay High School, which was originally built in 1948 to support the education of dependent children of Canadian Armed Forces members. Just as the, just as the soldier was named after provided distinguished service to our nation, the school provided proud service to our growing community as part of the Renfrew County District School Board. This is why General Panay and the school that he is named after are duly recognized in the entryway of this new facility with the very bricks from the demolished school, providing the literal solid community foundation on which we stand today and where this very building is built. Like in any community, our infrastructure gets old and replacement and improvements are necessary. So on October 30th, 2015, almost 18 months ago, we marked the groundbreaking for a brand new and expanded Canex facility. This was welcome news, as the original Canex, that one over there, <laughs> built in 1958, yep, older than almost everyone here, has provided distinguished service, long service is what I would say, um, to the garrison and to the surrounding community for almost 60 years. I mention our surrounding communities because our Canex is known throughout the region for its outstanding quality, value, and service, and therefore people come from afar to shop here. Canex and CISIP has, have also been important members of our garrison, giving back generously to support us and the local community on a regular basis. Now, a year and a half later, after the groundbreaking, we're gathered today to mark the opening of Canada's new Canex Supermarket. This impressive and inspiring facility provides a warm and inviting environment and will improve upon delivering a more convenient, comprehensive, and enhanced customer experience for our thriving Canadian Armed Forces community at Garrison Petawawa. This is where we all cheer. also complement the outstanding services already provided on the garrison and in the surrounding communities. As well, this new facility will be a significant enhancement to the tremendous support already provided by Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services at Garrison Petawawa and demonstrates a substantial reinvestment into the lives of our Canadian Armed Forces members, civilian employees and their families. I'm certain that the previous location's excellent reputation will continue to be upheld and further solidified in our new, contemporary, and engaging store. I want to thank all those involved in getting us to this day, but specifically Commodore Cantillon and the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare 
Services team for recognizing the importance of this garrison to the Canadian Armed Forces and to the region, and for choosing 